Okay, I'll be yeah. ready. I think so. Let's do this. Why are we actually shifting to a CSS first approach? First, why not? Uh, CSS is fun, uh, but if you leave that aside when thinking about Editor V4 and what we want to achieve, CSS is kind of just the basic of everything, but really by embracing that, we can uh, create a complete system that will help the user to uh, really think about how he style a website globally. What aspects does this improve? First, it's inconsistency. In general, if we are talking about the current editor, when a user is going to one element and the other elements, there are different style options in both of them. Sometimes the style appears in the content tab, and sometimes appears in the style tab, and in the advanced tab. We want to kind of eliminate the, this friction and create more a streamlined approach regarding styling. And then global styling. Currently in the editor, a user can use global widget, he can use uh, global colors, or global fonts, but we want to take it a step further, create more a cohesive uh, design approach and think about how a design system working in a website. And lastly, performance. When talking about Editor V4, performance is our top priority. When going with a CSS-based approach, that will help performance and improve the learning time of a page. How will this actually change the way we build with the editor? I think that first it's going to improve the workflow of the design. And instead of going kind of an element-based styling, meaning that they're going to style each element separately, when you go to a class-based system, you can create one class, apply it to different elements, and then improve the workflow. So what exactly are CSS classes? Why are they important? Uh, so CSS classes in general is the way that you can combine different style properties in one class and use it across the website. You want to create a class for a button. You create the class and then apply it to the different button. For example, I have 10 different buttons on my website and I want to create um, a specific design, meaning that I want a specific uh, background, border radius, font size, and stuff like that. So I created the class, and now I want to edit the class. I'm changing some problems. The moment I change that, all of the buttons change automatically because they are all assigned to the same class. That really gives us a powerful design system with the CSS-based stuff because we can think about everything globally. How will this actually improve performance? Currently, uh, in the editor, we are working more of an element level, meaning that each element with the styling creates its own CSS output. But uh, shifting to a global system, to a CSS-based system, now we're thinking of globally, meaning less uh, CSS per element, but more global, and that's dramatically improved the performance and generate faster websites. So what's next for Elementor's editor with this new approach? A lot more will be possible with Editor V4. Obviously, we are going to create a CSS management that's part of that with variable, with pseudo classes. But beside that, we are going to create a component a system to create kind of a complex layout of atoms. If we are taking it even further, we are going to improve the UI, the inline editing. But everything is going to happen gradually, meaning we are going to step by step. We will list the feature of Editor V4 as part of uh, the general release of the editor. We want to be very careful about that first to, um, to create a better adoption for the feature and to make sure that everything is stable and ready for production. And that's the vision for Editor V4, and we can't wait for you to test it and be part of this amazing journey. And let's do it together. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, yeah. <laughs>